Hello everyone, with this video I'm going to show you how to export your smoke simulation from Houdini to Maya so you can render out in RenderMan. First thing first, in your smoke simulation, where you can change the division, division size, you have to make sure it's not too high of a resolution, which means the lower the number is, the higher resolution you have. If the resolution is too high, or is is really high, then the file size gets really big. For example, if I would put it 0.01, these 240 frames will take up around 42 gigabytes of space on my disk. If I were to change it to 0.02, just a, a hundred more, then those 250 f uh, 240 frames will only take up 7 gigabytes of space. So you're going to save around 90% of disk space. Most of the resolution you can either trick or fake inside a random man shader, if possible. So be cautious of how high resolution you're going to render everything out. The export itself, I put it inside the Pyro imports that it will create whenever you use one of those nodes up here. And here you have to import pyro fields, so it imports the simulation inside the pyro sim. We don't, we're not going to use the, the pyro visualization nodes, we only need the pyro fields itself. We connect this one into a convert VDB node. Inside this node we're going to make sure it says convert to VDB and we're going to select attributes that we're going to want to use later on. Density and velocity are often used in shaders, so better use those. It's also up to you how you want to use them. The fewer you have, the more disk space you actually save up. Once everything is settled up, you can go to... you have to connect it to file cache nodes, uh, make sure it says save to frame range, and in the file name itself, and make sure it's all set to the right folder path. And also, at the end of the name, you have to set a dollar sign F, so it actually renders out every frame. The four afterwards is mainly to tell it to how add how many numbers to it. So 0 0.001 is the first frame at the dollar sign F4. Once this is all set up, you can save to disk. Save save to disk. It will take out. It will take some time to render it. And once all everything is inside your folder, you can go to Maya. And in here, in the render man tab, you have this the blue sphere here is to visualize VDBs. You click on that, left click, and it will create a transform object in your Maya scene. In the attribute editor, you can then see two important tabs, one of which is the open VDB read. In there, we're going to select our file, either one of those. And at the moment, it's rather small in my scene, so I'm going to change the resolution or change the size of it, scale. And go back to the VDB read, because right now it only shows up one frame of the entire uh, of the entire simulation, and that's because we only told it to read one file. To tell it to read all the files, we have to do the same what we did in Houdini. Dollar sign F4. With that, it will actually gonna read all of them. However, as you can see right now, it shows up all the cubes of VDB visualization in that small container. That's because we haven't set up, we haven't told it to use which kind of attribute. With this, you go into VDB grid name and change it to density. And with this, it's pretty much done now. I hope this video helped you out and it showed you uh, how quick you can actually export it into Maya again without using the Houdini engine tool for Maya.